This video explains how to install new pilings after the wooden piles have been destroyed due to biological action. Shipworms and gribbles, mollusks, damage wooden piles due to high oxygen and non-toxic waters. Most of your damage occurs between the high and the low water marks. In that splash zone, that's where most of the activity happens. Below it or above it, there's not much damage, as you can see. Eventually, you end up with no piling. Now, how to water jet is explained. You have water level, and you have your seabed. You place your PVC pipe with the plug at the end. And you hydrojet it using a pump, a submersible pump, and a water hose and a piping. As it's going down, because you're hydrojetting around the perimeter, at a certain point, you get to the right elevation, and then you place the form around the top section. Now, this entire piping is full of water. Since there's a plug at the bottom, no sand got in, and so it's just water that's filled up throughout this. And then you pour concrete in, and the water gets displaced. So the form, the purpose of the form is so you can adjust your elevation to the appropriate height beyond the elevation of the PVC pipe. So you have much better control of the elevation of all your pilings once you place the form around the piling that you just hydrojetted into the sand in your seabed. See the water gets displaced and the water, the concrete just keep on up to the level that you desire. And then you place an anchor bolt into your form. Now here's an enlargement of your form at the top. See, once you have your concrete in, you place an anchor bolt. Remove the form, and you basically have a, a concrete piling that goes all the way down to the seabed. It's best to have a second, working pairs, have a second piling, and you connect it with a, with a pressure-treated wood, a 4 by 6 pressure treated wood now the concrete the concrete protects you against the low and the high watermark protects you against biological damage as you can see here we have the pipes. We create a, uh, a plug at the end of the uh, PVC pipe by digging a hole and placing the pipe vertically, filling in about six inches of concrete plug at the bottom of the, uh, the, the pipe. You mix the concrete and build the plug. Here you have the uh, submersible pump used to uh, hydrojet the, uh, the PVC pipe. So you push the water jet around the pipe, perimeter of the pipe. And as you're going around and around, the pipe will just keep on going down into the sand. Now this is a two-man job, although um, one person might be able to do it. The problem is you have to also pound with a sledgehammer the, the pipe into the into the sand 
as you're hydro jetting and as seen in this video. Do you have a channel? No, and as you're going you know, down, you just keep on hydro jetting okay, okay. Uh, around the perimeter of the pipe. And uh, because there's a plug, that pipe will be basically hollow. Now here you have the uh, PVC pipe after it's been placed to the right depth. Now you can place a um, cardboard form around it or a fiberglass form and uh, mix concrete using a uh, concrete mixer or just pouring in the dry powder depends on how much water is in the, in the, uh, in the PVC pipe. Here is the uh, form after pouring with the anchor bolt. Here's the anchor bolt and the form removed. And when you're working, it's best to have two piles together. And then you use a four by six pressure treated wood to bolt them together. And uh, if you're interested, uh, there's also a video on reusable fiberglass forms or Another video called the rebuilding of a 190 foot dock destroyed by a hurricane. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe. Thank you and comment. Bye bye.